All in all, it was a good day after the result we got. Uh, we started the game well, but uh, later in the match we had some problems, especially in the start of the second half. We experienced some problems and uh, we conceded a goal, uh, but uh, I, 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 I managed to um, identify some of the problems and to make the right substitutions, so we came back uh, and won. We were a little lucky at some moments of the match, but the most important for us is that we got three points and uh, our hard work has been paid, paid off. Thomas, you scored today. How is the feeling like and how did the game go to, for you today? Well, uh, I feel good, uh, especially we are able to you know, win the game. And most of uh, the most important things in life is, you know, to get the results after a hard day and I think we have to be happy. Yes, colleagues, um, let's have your questions for Coach and Thomas. Let me start from you. Please come, come closer and, and let, let's hear from you. The microphone to the person. Yes. My name is Taxon from Radio University. We can, we can hear you clearly from the microphone, okay. so please use it. So, my name is Taxon from Radio University. Question goes to the coach. Coach, what went into the selection of your goalkeeper today? Uh, first of all, it was first uh, good scouting, and you know, since he arrived, he proved himself at the training sessions. He really did a great job. Uh, he deserved his chance. Today, he was uh, at the top of the game. Definitely, I'm satisfied with his performances, and. Uh, uh, I don't want to uh, praise goalkeepers too much, you know, but he, he really did a good job today. My name is Eric Kahim from Omi TV. Uh, first to Thomas Fate. Thomas Fate, uh, when the game started, you were playing in deeper role, but when the game went on, uh, you you moved ahead uh, into the attack, and that was where your goalkeeper. Would you say playing up front uh, at your best position? And also to the coach, um, what difference from your first thing to when you made your first debut with the Black Star? And to this one, uh, would you say that this one had a better, uh, I mean, I mean, a great, had a great game than uh, your first stint in, with the Black Star? Okay, let's pick, let's pick Thomas first and coach second. Thomas, let's say you. Okay, uh, I think it's the decision of the coach. Uh, he knows where every player on the pitch can play. Uh, we started uh, with me behind because uh, we have a lot of talent ahead who can score goals and I think uh, as time goes on we see that they get tired and that's when the coach made the second change for Boba to come in and then I push forward. Uh, it's different in terms of the result, you know, in my first stint uh, I had a friendly match against Tanzania, it was 1-1, the first competitive match I lost against Libya, but today this match well, the result was excellent. Uh, um, I want to congratulate all of my players for their efforts. Today we did this together and they all participated. So uh, we are looking ahead, we are looking forward and thinking already about the next match. So the feeling is, damage. okay, we have a next match in three days, so we have to focus on our next challenge. Thomas Fati, are you comfortable in the advanced role when it comes to the Ghana Blaster or are you comfortable in terms of defending? So, uh, Everywhere on the pitch where I can help uh, the national team, uh, I'm ready to you know sacrifice everything. Uh, I don't mind defending, I don't mind attacking, but every time I have to play in Ghana, I'm ready to sacrifice everything and play in any position. Ha! Let me go to you, and I said this man. So Henry, let me go to them. I will go to you. It's not Henry. It's Thierry. <laughs> Thierry, sorry. <laughs> so uh, Thierry okay. Nyan, TV3. Um, my question goes to coach. Coach, you, your in-game decision seemed a masterstroke. You, you um, uh, introduced Baba Idrisu, and there seemed to be a bit more solidity in midfield. You withdrew Andrea you as well, um, and then eventually on the right wing. Um, how impressed were you with those performances? And especially because Party was freed up. I know that question has been answered, but my question to you then is, are we going to be seeing more of these going forward? Uh, yes, you said well. We, we, we faced some difficulties in the start of the second half, especially our first block couldn't do their uh, tasks very well, you know. 
and there was a lot of pressure, especially with the long balls on our defense, so it was important to uh, make a decision to introduce uh, Baba Indrisu, especially because of the second Baba ball. Uh, so it was important to improve that area of the team. Of course, it was a tactical decision, and this decision proved uh, um, as a very good decision for, for, for us, and it affected the team in the right way. So in these situations you have to be able to see and ident identify problems and make right decisions. I think all of them did well and definitely uh, uh, at one point uh, it was difficult to keep up with the rhythm, you know, but uh, eventually we managed to overcome these problems and to uh, come uh, back and uh, score uh, another two goals and, uh, and then we'll win this game. Okay, let me pick him, then I'll pick the last person, I'm sorry, I, I guess I would, I would have to pick the last person, him, any other, any other person so that we can end the person. My name, is Joseph. My name is Joseph from Ghana Web. Um, coach, just to you, um, Jordan, are you, were you impressed with this performance? Um, Jordan, are you, were you impressed with this performance? Because some of the fans were not really enthused with um, how he was playing. And to party. Um, our away game against South Africa was a defeat. We come against Zimbabwe um, on Tuesday. How are you guys preparing to come into that game following the defeat uh, to South Africa the last time we went away? Yeah, Jordan was trying to do his best, you know, and the players uh, in the attack, you know, both the players on the wings and him, they were trying, they were doing a lot of work, um, you know. Especially after 1-0, we, we created one more excellent chance, you know, so unfortunately we didn't use it. Um, after the game, you know, the, the, they became tired, so we needed to react and uh, bring some fresh players to replace them. But, um, you know, according to the situation and circumstances, uh, he was fighting well and I don't have anything to... to um, I can be satisfied with his efforts. Okay, let me pick Obama, and I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry, Pate. Hey, mm. let's hear from Pate, sorry. So I think uh, last out of the day, uh, unluckily we were not able to go, most of the players, and we had a loss. But today we did our best, and then Tuesday we have to uh, first enjoy today, and then we think about Tuesday. So, okay. yeah, coach, um, I'm Sadiq, I work for EDM. I was at a hall for your unveiling, and one of the most popular questions uh, was your one goal project. You scored three today, and your team created so many chances. Is this uh, an answer to your critics, those who call you by the one goal project mantra? Yeah, as I said at that press conference, you know, it was just. Uh, uh, some mantra from the journalist, because as you can see, some other also say that I was defensive coach, but you see that if you look at the first 11, if you look at uh, how much we wanted to score, we could have scored even three more goals at least. Of course, we could concede more than one, but um, definitely we are always trying to do our best and to try to score more goals, but in the end, the victory is the most important. and. Uh, Today, you know, we, we showed our attacking force, but sometimes it's not easy, you see, uh, especially in these tough matches, so, uh, but in the end, everything was okay, and we are pretty satisfied with the effort and with the result.